CJ Break 23 from KarateKicks23.com. Today we have a quick look at iOS 5 on the iPhone 4. Um, the first thing we're going to look at is the notifications. Um, you can just scroll them down here, like uh, the jailbroken app lock info you can see whether stocks mail and you can add more in the settings I'll show you how to do that um, in the settings as you can see I got a notification right here at the top and I'm just gonna keep going you will edit the notifications right here in the settings for instance, mail, you can determine whether you want it as a banner or an alert. Put it in the lock screen, how many to show, and the set to turn on or off. Um, the next feature I'm going to go over is uh, iMessage. This right here is a uh, for chatting between iOS devices as you can see I have it on uh, I don't have any friends right now that have iOS 5 so I'm gonna keep moving on to the Twitter integration that has been added into uh, iOS 5 you can update your contacts and uh, wherever you're at in many apps you can uh, tweet for example, I'm going to do a photo um, a quick screenshot right here. You can tweet right here. As you can see. OS 5. And then I can just send that tweet out. And it has the ability to add the location too. And uh, the next feature would be a reminder. And this is more of a uh, to-do list and uh, event reminder for the iPhone. I've been waiting for them to add this. And you can go between and change things. As you can see, I got a list here for when I can check out at Apple. And uh, what's great about this is you can uh, you can remind yourself not only from the date but also by the location. So if you're about to leave the Apple Store, you can have it remind you you forgot to purchase something. Moving right along into the newsstand app. As you can see right now, it says you can download magazines and newspaper in the App Store. You can't right now, but uh, that they'll probably open that pretty soon. And uh, let's see, we'll go over the iCloud settings now. iCloud was one of the main features that they had. As you can see, you can have it sync your mail, contacts, calendar, reminder events, bookmark, notes, uh, photo stream to sync your photos to your computer and iOS devices, find my iPhone and uh, storage and backup. As you can see, Apple has given us five gigabytes and I've used some, some of it right now. And uh, you can turn this right on to back up the cloud. We got a little message. And um, from there, you can just back up. Um, and some other settings that I found in here was in general. The ability to uh, sync wirelessly. This hasn't been activated yet, 
uh, that'll be activated pretty soon where you can uh, sync to iTunes wirelessly and uh, wirelessly do your software update and uh, since I got the phone sitting on the charger we're going to take a break and I'm going to come back and show you uh, the new features in the camera app um, here's the camera feature you can double tap from the lock screen and actually bring your camera up as you can see I have a few sneakers here and with the options you can add the grid the grid mode excuse me I'm holding two iPhones uh, or you can add the HDR and uh, to balance your pictures and now you can actually take a photo with the uh, the up button